All right, I'm back. Sorry, no video for three days there. Uh, yeah, I took the weekend, spent some time with the family, but this is an exciting way to return. I came back, I sat down, and lo and behold, we have a new kit reveal. So I figured we will go over it. I'll give my impressions, you know, the general whole thing. So Watt Tambor, and it, what's great is I actually really think this character is cool. It's just in the movie. I love the, the techno union count, you know. Is at your disposal. Anyway, so strengths. Unique non combatant support hero. Boost allies with versatile tech buffs. Okay, provides substantial health and protection recovery to all allies. And by all allies, I just mean allies because I read it wrong. So we have New Gunray, Count Dooku, Geonosian, Brood Alpha, and basically all the Geos, etc. He's a key member of the Separatist Council, while Tambo is a non combat support, a support who distributes powerful tech to his allies. Okay, basically exactly what they already said there. And Dark Side support Separatists, so not too many tags. Basic, binary basic. Oh wow, the, the model looks really cool. He's got like a robe and everything. That's cool. During Watt's turn, dispel debuffs on target ally if any ally has debuffs. Apply heal over time twice on all allies for two, wow. That's pretty good. Um, inflict damage over, that automatically makes me think of what, uh, part four Night Sisters. Cause like Chirrut, there's a cheese you can do by putting Chirrut in there. So I wonder if he's like a better version of that. Um, out of turn, inflict damage over time twice on target enemy for two turns and remove 15% turn meter. This ability can't be evaded. Wow, that is, that's really good too. That almost makes me think he'd be a good fifth in uh, the Old Republic also. I like that they have different kind of mechanics like heal over time, dispel, so far, I really like this character. I think he fits a lot in a lot of places. Okay, first special, cooldown four. Revive a random separatist or dark side droid ally. Oh, that's cool. At 100% health and grant all allies protection over time 30% for two turns. Trigger the healing of all heal over time buffs on allies and the damage of all, no way. The damage of all damage over time debuffs on allies. That is, that's awesome. Think about uh, Vader lead. And that, that is a cool animation too. So far, this character has the potential to be one of my favorite characters in the whole game. Like just reading the kit. It's my first time reading the kit. I'm not like faking it or anything. This is really exciting. Um, I love it. I love how they, they put unique mechanics to make a character good. I think that's amazing character design. Um, revive a random, okay, blah, blah, blah. Protection over time, recover protection each turn. Wait, protection over time. Grant all allies protect. Oh, I didn't even see this part. Droid hell, I 100% and grant all allies protection over time. That's the first guy who has that, right? Okay, so far he's amazing. I mean, so far he's just amazing. Um, unique one, Overseer. At the start of battle, other separatist and dark side droid allies gain max protection equal, no way, to 30% of his max health. All separatist and droid allies have 30% critical avoidance while they have heal over time. Wow, this he gets better. Whenever an ally with tech uses a special ability, Wa is called to assist. If there are no other ally combatants at the start of a turn, Wa escapes from battle. He also has an escape from battle, and he fits in multiple teams. I love this character. This is fantastic. Okay, unique too. He gets another move. Um, mass manufacture to Zeta. At the start of the battle, Wa gains a bonus turn. Bonus turn, so he just goes, it's like Han Solo. At the start of battle, he gains a bonus turn and access to the following tech and forms of abilities. When Watt uses a piece of tech, the target other ally gains its effects until defeated or the end of battle. Wow, wow. okay. Uh, the cooldown of each piece of tech is set to max and can't be reduced if all allies have tech or if it is active. Okay, I gotta read that again. The cooldown of each piece of tech is set to max and can't be reduced if all allies have tech or if it is active on an ally. Can't be disco copy, and an ally can only have one piece of tech. I get it. So for some reason, multiple techs go to multiple people, you can't use it. It's it's like a probe droid-like mechanic. It stops you from using it. Okay. So let's see, what are the different techs you get? Uh, med, that's kind of a cool way of balancing, I guess. Med pack recovers 5% health and protection at the start of every character's turn. 5% bonus protection if the character is separatist. Oh, wow. At the start of each turn, recover 30% protection and dispel on debuffs. Tanks taunt while they have protection. Wait. At the start of turn, recover 30% protection and dispel own debuffs. Tanks taunt while they have protection. Dang. Okay. Uh, gain 15% turn meter at the start of each enemy's turn. At each enemy's turn. Attacks ignore defense and enemies defeated by this character can't be revived. Holy moly, man. 
This guy's loaded. Now he's just disgusting, right? I mean, I gotta go over this again. So he counts as a separatist. His basic is 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 amazing. During during his turn, dispel debuffs on target ally if any ally has debuffs. Apply heal over time twice on all allies, and then you can trigger the heal over time effects too. Out of turn. Oh, so that's the icy. Okay, so if he gets retribution or call to assist from other people, I, he puts the dot on him. Okay, all right, I get it. Wow, that is that is such a cool mechanic. I. I think this character in particular is one of the coolest design characters I've seen. He kind of seems like really good. Uh, I wonder if he'll be good enough to kind of push the Separatists over the edge. I'm not I'm not 100% sure to be honest. I mean, but now we got all these Geo Broods and we got all these new characters coming to the game. And we have like new Gunray lead and stuff. I think Separatists might actually start being a really good faction. This is very exciting. Either way, very exciting. Um, I'm gonna keep this video short to the point. I, I think he's I think he's gross. I think he's really, really good. I, I'm excited to get this character. I, I think it's one of the few characters that come out in recent memory where I'm like, I'm actually extremely hyped. I, I can't wait to get him. I think he looks fantastic. I think that plug and play characters like this are the meat and bones of the game and make me want to collect the characters. So honestly, good job, CG. I think he looks he looks fun. Yeah. Okay guys. Cheers. Have a good one.